Senator Limmer hosted an informational meeting today to continue his work on Macy's bill. It's a piece of legislation that is looking at penalties for drivers who do not have a valid license and cause injury or death to another person. Sarah Winkleman was at the discussion in St. Paul and has the latest. It seems as though Macy's current health will not change much, but her family is remaining positive about a possible change in legislation. The Vanek family hopes a bill authored by Representative Josh Heinzman and Senator Limmer will provide justice for future cases similar to theirs. I'm glad that people are continuing to look at it and continuing to be interested in trying to figure out how do we fix this problem. Today was all about looking at the current facts of the law and determining if there are any gaps that need to be filled. We consider legislation all the time, but we don't always quickly react in an emotional reaction, a knee-jerk way, especially us in the Senate. We take our time to study, analyze, get a background on legislation, and then we act, and we act proportionately. Making sure the punishment is fitting to the crime. People who have revoked or canceled driver licenses and they drive anyway in disobedience to a court order and then causing injury or death to another, we want to make sure we get that law right. If Macy's bill does go through, driving without a valid license will be a gross misdemeanor and additional charges will be applied for repeat offenders. Keeping in mind a gross misdemeanor will only be applied when a collision resulted in substantial bodily harm or death to another person. Well, you may have um, had your license suspended, been caught, and so the way we approach that was a third strikes you're out sort of approach. An approach that strives to be more consistent when dealing with drivers without valid driver licenses. I think it's important for the legislature to revisit areas of law that we rarely visit and we don't want to make any flash emotional decisions on potential legislation without knowing the foundation. The information gathered will be taken into consideration as the bill is prepared for the next legislative session. Reporting in St. Paul, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. And that next legislative session is set to begin on February 20th of next year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.